DIYers, what's going on? Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking boats today. Hey, in the event that your boat battery continues to go dead, welcome to the club. We've all been there. In today's video, we're going to talk about parasitic draw. And what does that mean? Basically, another way of saying something is continuously draining your battery. Not cool, right? Let's take a look. DIYers, here we are at the boat. And what we'll do is head to the back of the boat and take a closer look of the battery compartment. I want to show you that switch. To the back of the boat inside our battery compartment. There is our battery and feeding off the electrical leads is a switch. Check that out. And right now, taking a closer look of it, you can see the battery icon is tipped up on its side. That electrical switch is in the off position and it's cutting any and all electrical power to the system, which in return doesn't allow our battery to die while we're gone. Because what we were experiencing was we would spend the weekend on the water with no issues. Then we'd go away for a few days, we'd come back and unfortunately the battery was dead, which was frustrating. So long story short, we realized we have what's called a parasitic draw on our electrical system, which drains the battery. And parasitic draw, what does that mean? Basically, that is a fancy way of saying something is continuously draining your battery while the engine is off and the boat is sitting, which again, is extremely frustrating and annoying and until you figure out what exactly is causing it it will be a constant annoyance on your mind so what we would do once we parked the boat and went away for a few days just before we left we would actually disconnect the negative cable from the battery which at that point it cuts all electrical power to the battery and the days we were gone there was absolutely no draw from the battery so we'd come back a few days later re-secure that black negative cable to the battery lead and the battery would be full charge we'd start the engine and we'd spend the day on the lake however that gets annoying as time goes on so what my dad did was he installed this awesome switch and the way this works is the little knob again right now it is in the off position and all we have to do is turn it clockwise until the battery icon is upright and the mold on the button is in line with the green on portion of the switch we have now completed the electrical circuit to our electrical system and the battery is now providing electrical power to our boat from here we start the engine spend the day on the water and when it comes time to park this and head away for a few days here's what we do we turn that knob counterclockwise to the off position, which at that point, again, it cuts all electrical power from the battery, alleviating any and all possibility of a parasitic draw, which again allows us to leave for a few days and then come back to a fully charged battery, turn the switch on, start the engine and head back out on the water. Again, alleviating that parasitic draw, which as we mentioned, just a fancy way of saying something is continuously draining your battery. Not cool at all. So we definitely recommend installing one of these switches Scrolling above right now is a step-by-step -step video link on installing this switch on our jet ski. Because we love the switch so much on our pontoon, we installed one on our jet ski. Let's go check that one out. I have the jet ski's shore side. I removed the seats to give us better access to the internal hull where the battery is as well as that switch. Check that out. There it is. And as you can see, it is in the off position because the battery is on its side. And the battery cables are secured to the battery. I've got our jet ski key coming up and trying to start it. Absolutely nothing. No gauges work, no sounds whatsoever. Pull the key off, come back down in the hull, turn the switch on by shifting it clockwise. From here, the mold of the button is in position with the green portion as well as the onward, and the battery icon is upright, as you see here. And that switch is now providing power to our battery. Grab the key, come up top. There it is, we've got electrical power to our engine. I'll remove the key. And again, DIYers, we just wanted to show you that. I'll turn this off and that alleviates any chances of any parasitic draw whatsoever to our battery. So we can head out for a few days, come back, and our battery is still good, charged, and ready to go. Again, definitely check out that link that was scrolling above earlier. We show you how to install this switch, which is extremely easy, a very friendly DIY project. Do us a favor below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell, that would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.